Life is full of surprises, and not all of them are pleasant. We've all faced those nerve-wracking moments, a high-stakes presentation, a heated argument, or an unexpected crisis. In these situations, staying calm feels like an impossible feat. But what if there was a way to master this skill, no matter the circumstance? The Stoics, ancient philosophers who thrived in times of turmoil, had incredible insights into staying calm under pressure. They developed techniques that are not just ancient wisdom, but practical tools for our modern lives. Ready to discover their secrets? Let's dive into the timeless strategies of the Stoics and learn how to keep our cool, even when the heat is on. Visualize the worst case scenario. One of the most effective Stoic strategies for staying calm under pressure is to visualize the worst case scenario. This may sound counterintuitive at first. Why would we want to dwell on the worst possible outcomes? However, this technique, known as premeditatio malorum, or the premeditation of evils, is a powerful way to prepare the mind. By contemplating the worst that could happen, we strip these scenarios of their power to surprise and overwhelm us. Instead of succumbing to fear and anxiety, we face our fears head on and demystify them. For example, if you're anxious about a big presentation, imagine the absolute worst that could occur. Technical difficulties, a hostile audience, forgetting your lines. Now consider how you would handle each situation. You might have backup slides, a calm response to criticism, or notes to fall back on. By preemptively tackling these fears, you transform them from monstrous unknowns into manageable possibilities. This approach not only helps in reducing anxiety, but also enhances preparedness and resilience. When we visualize the worst case scenario, we anchor ourselves in reality, understand that failure is not the end of the world, and often discover that our fears are exaggerated. As a result, we approach stressful situations with a calm, composed mindset, ready to handle whatever comes our way. The Stoics believed that by preparing for the worst, we could maintain our tranquility and focus on the present moment, thus enabling us to perform at our best, even under pressure. Anchor to controllable actions. When facing high-pressure situations, the Stoics taught us to anchor ourselves to what we can control. This principle is about focusing our energy on actions within our sphere of influence, rather than wasting it on uncontrollable outcomes. Imagine you're waiting for a job interview result. The outcome is beyond your control, but your preparation, the way you present yourself, and how you handle the interview questions are within your grasp. By honing in on these controllable actions, you not only enhance your performance, but also mitigate the anxiety tied to uncertainty. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus emphasized this point, urging us to distinguish between what is within our power and what is not. This mindset shift can significantly reduce stress, as it allows us to redirect our attention from futile worries to productive actions. For instance, if you're overwhelmed by an impending deadline, focus on creating a detailed plan, breaking down tasks into manageable chunks and tackling them one at a time. This approach not only increases efficiency, but also fosters a sense of accomplishment and progress. Anchoring to controllable actions cultivates a proactive and empowered attitude, making us feel more capable and less at the mercy of external circumstances. The result is a calmer, more focused state of mind, where we can navigate challenges with clarity and confidence. By embracing this stoic strategy, we learn to channel our efforts where they truly matter, ultimately leading to more effective and serene handling of life's pressures. Embrace immediate reality. In times of stress, our minds often race to past regrets or future anxieties, but the Stoics taught us the importance of embracing immediate reality. 
This lesson encourages us to fully engage with the present moment, accepting it as it is without judgment or resistance. Marcus Aurelius, a prominent Stoic, emphasized that we must live in accordance with nature, which means aligning ourselves with the reality of our circumstances. When faced with a challenging situation, such as a difficult conversation, instead of fretting over what might go wrong or what we should have said in the past, focus on what is happening now. Ground yourself in the present by observing your surroundings, listening attentively and responding thoughtfully. This practice, often referred to as mindfulness in modern terms, helps reduce the mental clutter that fuels anxiety and stress. By accepting the present moment, we can approach problems with a clearer mind and a more composed demeanor. For example, if you're caught in a traffic jam and late for an important meeting, stressing over the delay won't help. Instead, accept the situation, inform the relevant parties of your delay, and use the time to prepare mentally for the meeting. Embracing immediate reality doesn't mean passive resignation, it means actively engaging with the present in a way that is constructive and mindful. This stoic approach allows us to face life's pressures with a calm and pragmatic mindset, enabling us to respond to challenges more effectively. Release attachment to results. One of the core tenets of Stoic philosophy is releasing attachment to results. This doesn't mean we should not care about the outcomes of our efforts, but rather we should not let these outcomes dictate our emotional state. The Stoics believed that while we can control our actions, the results are often influenced by external factors beyond our control. Epictetus famously said, do not seek to have events happen as you want them to, but instead want them to happen as they do happen and your life will go well. This lesson teaches us to focus on doing our best in any given situation and to find satisfaction in our efforts, regardless of the outcome. For example, if you're working on a project at work, put your heart into it but understand that the final approval might be influenced by factors like market conditions or managerial decisions. By releasing attachment to results, you reduce the fear of failure and the pressure to succeed, which can often paralyze action. This approach fosters a more balanced perspective where you can appreciate the process and learn from it rather than being solely outcome driven. It also promotes resilience as setbacks are seen as opportunities for growth rather than definitive failures. By adopting this stoic mindset, you can navigate life's pressures with a sense of peace and equanimity, knowing that you've done your part to the best of your ability and that the rest is out of your hands. This detachment from results cultivates inner tranquility and allows us to remain calm and composed, regardless of the outcome. Mastering the art of staying calm under pressure is a journey, and the wisdom of the Stoics offers invaluable guidance. By visualizing the worst-case scenario, anchoring to controllable actions, embracing immediate reality, and releasing attachment to results, we can navigate life's challenges with a clear mind and composed spirit. These ancient strategies are not just philosophical musings, they're practical tools that can transform how we handle stress in our modern lives. Now, it's your turn. How do you stay calm under pressure? Have you tried any of these stoic strategies? Or do you have other techniques that work for you? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's learn from each other and build a community of resilience and calmness. Your insights might just be the key that helps someone else find their inner peace. So, dive in, share your journey, and let's continue this conversation together.